these are the top 10 NFL teams going into week five. Coming in at number 10, we have the Falcons. I've been a believer of this team since the offseason, and even though they haven't had any ridiculous, impressive wins, they've had a pretty hard schedule and have still been successful. Especially if you look past the week one performance against the Steelers, they've played pretty solid overall. I got them in the top 10. At number nine, we have the Steelers. Their O-line needs some serious work, but their defense is so good, it carries them all the way to nine. At number eight, we have the Texans. I think we all thought after the Vikings game, it was just a fluke, but there's just something off about this team. Yes, they still beat the Jaguars, and their division is so bad that I really wouldn't be that worried if I'm a Texans fan. It's still very early, so they have plenty of time to figure it all out, but as of right now, they're just not one of the best teams in the league. Seven, we have... Under Jaden Daniels, this offense has been great. There's no other way to put it. And unlike other teams I've mentioned, yes, they haven't had the hardest schedule, but they have still been putting up points. The one real spiking concern is just their defense is so atrocious. But I mean, when your offense is scoring 40 points, I guess it really doesn't matter. I'm not the absolute biggest believer in the commanders, but you can't deny that they have been playing very well so far. So I got them at number seven. At number six, we have the Buccaneers. If you just ignore that Denver loss, they've had nearly a perfect season and Baker Mayfield's playing his minds out. Coming in at number five, we have the Lions. Their offense came alive last night. Yes, their defense has had their moments where they haven't looked the best, but I still believe they're going to get that right. A lot of it's been stupid penalties too, especially in the defensive backs causing way too many pass interferences, but I trust them to get it fixed. They're at number five. At number four, we have the Bills. Got absolutely destroyed by the Ravens last week. I already wasn't that high in the Bills, and when they actually played a decent team, they just didn't even stand a chance. I don't think this team's bad by any means, but if they truly want to be a Super Bowl contender, they have a lot they need to work on, especially defensively. At number three, we have the Ravens, the complete flip side of everything I just said. Yes, the Ravens started off the season pretty rough, but if we're talking about the teams that are playing the best right now in this current moment, they are top three. At number two, we have the Vikings. Who would have thought that Sam Darnold would be an MVP candidate? This Vikings defense is truly special. Mix that with all the weapons that they have on offense with consistent quarterback play. It is really amazing to see how this Vikings team has performed. But with that being said, I would still put the Chiefs at number one. Even though they're banged up and haven't looked the best, there's this aura that comes with playing the Chiefs, and that's why they've won back-to-back.